I'll, I'll give you one example, simple example. So in coming days, I will I'll be explaining um, complex things regarding reference qualifier. But now I am going to explain one simple reference qualifier using advanced reference qualifier. So here, right, I'm actually removing this condition. I'm just selecting advanced here. So uh, let me just remove this one. So here, right, I am going to save this one first. So here in the affected color, as well, I'm actually removing the condition here. So if I refresh this one, right, If I refresh this one, so here you will be able to see all the 642 records here. So you are able to see all the 642 records because I removed the reference qualifier. So here also you are able to see all the 642 records. I also, I also removed the reference qualifier on effect, affected color as well. So I am going to explain one requirement now. So try to understand the requirement clearly. Suppose if I have selected able tutor here, suppose if I have selected able tutor here, I should not be able to select able tutor here in this field. So now I am able to select able tutor also in this field. So color and affected color both should not be the same. When you select able tutor here, you should not be able to select able tutor here. When you select able tutor here, you should not be able to select able tutor here. That means Color and affected color both should not be the same. That is what the requirement that I have actually I have to achieve. Do you guys understand the requirement? Okay. So now do you guys, now can you guys tell me what is current object? Tell me what is current object? The value inside the field. Okay. So here, right, it will actually current object will actually hold the field values. So color, color value, if you want to get the color value, so you will use current dot u underscore color. If you want to get the affected color value, you will use current dot u underscore affected color. So now, right, what my requirement is, whenever you select the color here, color as able tutor here. So I should not be able to select able tutor here. Let us say if I have selected able tutor here, I should not be able to select able tutor here. Okay. So if I select Abraham Lincoln here, I should not be able to select Abraham Lincoln here. Okay. So that is what my requirement color and affected color should not be the same so for that first what i am doing is i am actually opening the color field in the color field i am going to the reference qualifier i am selecting advanced reference qualifier so i am using javascript colon so you, you have to use the syntax javascript colon so you will actually use string type here sys id not equal to not equal to plus current dot u underscore affected underscore color. So that means show the records which is not in the show the show all the records except whatever is there in the affected color. That is what I have actually specified here. Society not is equal to affected color society. In the color field, you are actually keeping condition something like show all the records, excluding whatever is there in the affected color field. Show all the records, excluding whatever is, whatever is there in the affected color. So now I have actually write the condition here. Uh, the can, way, can you please explain that condition again? Yeah. <laughs> so here, right. Every record has society, right? Yeah. Every record has society, right? Mm -hmm. 
so when you select the when you select the record here it will actually give you the csid for okay. reference fields when you select a value it will actually give the csid rather than this name yes so every record has unique number right csid so in the reference field right when you select any record so it will actually give the csid of that record okay so here in the color field what i am i doing is show all the uh, show all the colors except whatever you have selected in the affected color field so here if you come here show all the csids except whatever is there in the affected color csid you okay, understand not equal to exclamatory mark is yeah, not equal to, to not, not equal to okay yeah. same way i am copying this script here i am going to the affected color here i am actually keeping uh, am, let me just go to the advanced view here <coughs> so here i am actually selecting so advanced reference qualifier here i am selecting this one you underscore color show all the records show all the records except whatever there in the color field so i am just selecting this one so now if i go and refresh this one right if i go and refresh this one i am going to refresh this again here so i am actually selecting able tutor here i am selecting able tutor here so now same able tutor i am actually trying to select here am i able to select here no okay fine i am actually removing this uh, able tutor here now it should it will actually accept you now you are able to select able tutor here now if i try to select able tutor here it will not actually accept okay so let us say i am actually selecting abraham lincoln here okay so now again i am actually trying to select abraham lincoln here in this uh, uh, affected color but it is not showing it is not actually showing because we have actually written the condition in the color and affected color both should not be the same understand so we have actually restricted this field that so show all the records except whatever there is in the color i have actually kept the condition here in the color field saying show all the records whatever is except whatever is there in the affected color field okay show all the records in the color field except whatever is there in the affected color in the affected color field show all the records except whatever is there in the color field so that is what the condition that i have actually written here okay so this is how you will actually use advanced reference qualifiers so we will actually discuss a few more examples we will actually discuss few more examples in coming sessions okay hope everybody is clear with the reference qualifiers